Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in the morning. So I have a wonderful big mug of black coffee. Start the day as always. I don't know why I never have my oatmeal course often. I think I literally just prefer it. This is a book that I'm reading at the moment. It's a novel it's called The Midnight Library. I did a podcast the other week in London with a need to read. And he recommended this to me and he actually gave me this book, which is super kind. And I'm actually loving it. I'm just going to read. Look how dark it is outside for 7am. And it's absolutely pissing it down. That is why... That is why you don't live in the UK. Right there, look at that. Okay, finished reading. I feel a lot more awake now. Sometimes you just need a bit of a read and a bit of a coffee. What me and Ben always do, so it's, this is basically like my morning routine, essentially. Get up, have a coffee, read. I've not been on my phone yet, therefore, like, I've not checked social media, obviously, because we work quite heavily on social media. It's not always the first thing you want to be doing in the morning. It can be, I guess, a little bit off-putting. I don't know. We just don't go on it in the morning. I feel like that's a healthy thing to do. We go on our laptops. We'll do emails, uh, client messages, anything like that. Stat statistics, I do all that for probably half an hour to 40 minutes and then I'll get ready and I will see you at the gym. Hello everybody, so I'm at the gym. What I wanted to basically do is talk to you a little bit about my current training because it is very, very questioned in terms of I get asked this multiple times a day on Instagram, on YouTube, even on TikTok now because your girl is doing a bit of TikTok. Basically, a couple of months ago, I say like six months ago now, maybe five, I really started incorporating running into my training. So running and weight training together. It started off by just doing maybe like one 10K a week and I was really enjoying it. I've massively improved since then. I hit a PB the other week when I did a race, 42 minutes. And then I was like, oh, I'm actually loving running. Like, it's it's a bit different. It's something I enjoy. This whole thing about, you know, like runners high and everything like that. And I was like, okay, I want to do more. And I was like, how can I incorporate my running and my weight training and still maintain or if not build muscle? Because obviously you've got this whole thing of when you're running a lot and you're weight training, how are you actually supposed to maintain your muscle or even build muscle? I feel I've definitely developed into more of a hybrid athlete where I'm working on strength in the gym. I hit five weight sessions a week, two upper, which are push and pull, and then three lower, which is split into glutes, glutes and hamstrings, so posterior, and then a more anterior quad focus session with three runs a week. My runs are a 10K, whether it's like an easy pace, working off heart rate, if I'm feeling good, I'll go for a quicker pace, whatever it is. I'll do a solid 10K. I'll then do 40 minutes of intervals where I literally go so hard. Like intervals are probably the hardest run session of the week. And then finally, I will do anything over 15K. So on Sunday, it's Tuesday now, on Sunday I did 25K in two hours, two minutes at a 4.54 pace. It was so great. I really enjoyed it. The last three kilometers were literally ridiculous. But I found this in my training that I can weight train and I can build strength and I can build maintain muscle and I can run three times a week. I think what you have to remember is I've come from a very athletic swimming sport background. So that's kind of always been in me. I can recover super, super well. I did 25K on Sunday at a pretty hard pace. I did it in like two hours. My half marathon was one hour 41. Yes, I did a push session and about an hour walk. And today I'm doing hamstrings with sprints and I feel really great. This has taken quite a while for me to kind of find the balance. So my usual workout split, this is something and I never share on Instagram so you guys are looking on YouTube more so just because like I always want to give a bit of context to people I don't just want to say this is my workout split and ask a question people copy it it's a bit different this week because I didn't do legs yesterday however usual week for me Monday I do hamstring and glutes with sprints so 20 minute sprints at the end of the session working on an incline Tuesday I film a YouTube or I do a push workout so upper body focus push workout and a run, a 10K run, whatever it is, which I'm not gonna do today because my week's all been a bit different. Wednesday, I hit glutes, just glutes, so just a glute workout, isolation, working on heavy hip thrusts or deadlift. Thursday is the intervals run. Friday is a pull session. Saturday is quads, just quads, hitting them really hard. And then Sunday, I do the 15K plus run. So you can probably see that like, oh, how are you doing legs on Saturday and running a 25K on a Sunday? It's just what I do. I actually feel fine from it. But then again, I'm saying to you, it might not work for everyone, some people might I have to do things in a different way, hit upper and then do a run. It's completely up to you. It's whatever kind of suits you. This really suits me. We have created programs on the My Coach School, the build and run, the lift and run, where you can progress up to a 10K whilst weight training. And it's 
amazing. Like the program is honestly freaking fantastic. So what I basically, the reason for this YouTube video is I need to explain to you guys like how I'm training, why I train like I do, and I just love it. You know, I'm at that stage where I'm not massively focused on aesthetics. I'm pretty focused on performance, how I'm moving in the gym. So I wanted to go through my hamstring slash glute workout today with you and like chat through and just obviously I've explained to you how I'm running and weight training at the same time. So hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. So we're gonna start with RDLs. Okay, RDLs, first exercise. This is more so my compound exercise. It's the exercise that I'm gonna focus on strength in this session. We're gonna do four lots of six to eight. This is my first set, so I'm just gonna do it as more of a warm up set and I'm gonna build it up, probably build it up to like 80 kg, maybe 85, 90. I have actually got a really helpful video for you on Instagram IGTV where I literally talk through the whole of the RDL, so definitely go and watch that. 80, 8 kg. solid last set of RDLs the third set got a little bit harder but the aim is to stay at 80 to 90 kg which <laughs> didn't do 90 today 80 kg for all reps and I've also got this like song on which is like <laughs> it's called like sicko drop and it's like sicko mode sicko mode no it's called sicko drop yeah, yeah sicko drop But for me, he's getting it back on that fucking thing. Point to note, if you're running alongside weight training and wanting to maintain or build muscle, you've got to be hitting some strength work. You've got to be progressively overloading. I actually think I might have built muscle at some period during this whole running thing. I'm also eating a lot, which I'll talk about later. Moving on to Barbell Good Mornings. Love this exercise. Again, me and Ben have got an IGTV on the My Coach School of this and it is literally spot on. I love this exercise. People say like, isn't it the same as an RDL? I'm not going to be doing 80 kg good mornings, <laughs> but also it just hits differently. Just one thing to really remember is you are hinging at the hips. Don't just like drop down because your back is going to feel like it's going to want to drop off. <laughs> Moving on to barbell reverse lunges. Now these are going to be a wide barbell reverse lunge because we're aiming to hit more of the posterior, we're aiming to hit the hammies and the glutes. If you do more of a narrow stance when you're doing lunges or you do front lunges, you're going to hit your quads more but that's not the aim of our session today. We're more so trying to isolate the glutes and the hamstrings. Just another point, I get this 
frequently asked, what do you do if you've got like joint pain from running, shin splints, shit like that? Honest to God, go and see a physiotherapist. I think there's some personal trainers out there who give injury advice and you're not supposed to. Like, I'm not a physio. I see a physio weekly. I've got really bad hips, for example. Like, my hips just aren't great. I think it's a genetic thing. Go and see a physiotherapist if you are struggling with, like, joint pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain from running and it's affecting you. Or even if it's affecting your runs as well. So I would really, really recommend if you've got some sort of pain or niggle to go and see a physio. Okay, moving on to a superset. We have dumbbell RDLs into dumbbell glute bridges. I probably would have usually done like a barbell hip thrust variation high volume. However, this is quite like a bougie gym. So there's like, no, you know, you get what I mean. So we're doing dumbbell anyway. But the question I always get asked is, why do you do barbell RDLs and why do you dumbbell? So my barbell RDLs were the strength element of the session. I was doing like six to eight reps. I was going a lot heavier, I was doing 80 kg. I'm now doing 20 kg for three sets of 12, so there is a difference in terms of the intensity and the volume, the reps and the set. Different variation, and I can really, really feel my hamstrings on a dumbbell RDL. Really, really awkward get into that one but while you're here my protein code loose d it either gives you 30 percent or 37 percent off which is literally so much money like it's actually the discount is literally crazy for my protein so if you use the code loose d i'll pop it on the screen there's a link below you can get all the shit you want in the world hello bonjour we're on the last exercise the last exercise is dumbbell leg curl so the leg curl in this gym is a seated leg curl i just i don't really <laughs> vibe with a seated leg curl it just i don't know i love a line leg curl but they don't have one here so i'm doing dumbbell line leg curl and they are an underrated exercise i would say so i'm going to show you like how to get into it as well because i think some people are a little bit scared so what you do you start in this position <laughs> and you crawl forward because then your feet are in the perfect slot see like so hands down and then you're just going to perform your reps It's a skill, it's a real skill. Welcome to my gym. <laughs> Welcome to my gym. Yeah, so I've got three more sets of that, or maybe it's two, and then I'm just gonna do some sprints. I'm gonna change my shoes. I've brought my running shoes with me because you cannot run in these because then you just like this. But yeah, she's ready. Oh, this is, I'm a guest. I've never had to save I'm a guest or log in on a treadmill my whole entire life. So what I'm gonna do is just some sprints. I would usually go off today and do a 10K in the afternoon. However, I'd also usually do push today. So my whole week's been a little bit messed up because the fact that I did do that 25K on Sunday, I'm just kind of making sure that I am recovering okay. So we're just fucking go up. I was gonna do 15, 20 minutes of sprints where it's one minute easy. Wow, this is a shit treadmill. One minute easy, one minute fast. I also changed shoes. I've got my Nike tempos on. Can't run in Converse, bad for your feet. Wow, it's literally gonna be a minute by the time I've even got the speed up. Come on, you fucker. Yeah, these are slow treadmills. gonna be a little bit difficult today on these treadmills like the thing it's like really slow so what I'm gonna do I'd usually walk in between because but this is such a ball ache gonna leave the belt running and jump on every minute so I'm just having like absolute stationary rest and I jump back on Okay, we are done 
I don't really enjoy treadmill running. I actually don't really like it at all. I just, I find it quite awkward. Like I feel like I'm gonna fall off when I'm sprinting. I don't know if it's my shoes. I don't know if it's the way I run. I've got like quite an uptight running technique just because I'm quite built. However, I, <sighs> I couldn't quite get it today, but 20 minutes, minute hard, no, minute easy, minute hard, trying to peak my heart rate at 168 to 170. It is good, sprints are really good. Obviously you're practicing intervals, you're practicing different intensities, but I just feel, me and a treadmill don't really go get, get along very well. We don't really vibe. I feel like I'm gonna fall off and it's really embarrassing. But that was today's video. You know how I train, you know what I do, you know my workout split. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Comment below what else you want me to film. I just felt Wow, this sweat off my eyebrows. I've got a super busy day ahead of meetings. Going on a walk later this evening, not really gonna film that. But yeah, thumbs up, subscribe. See you in my next one.